So today we're going to talk about RAM upgrades uh, and how to tell whether one would benefit you or not. Um, because I got a question, it was just asking my opinion on what type of RAM to get for an upgrade uh, based on effectiveness and cost. However, I think most computers today have more RAM than the typical user will need. And so I think it's valuable to talk a little bit about how to tell if RAM is really going to benefit you as a user or not. So how do you how do you know when to upgrade for RAM? Well, there's a simple test, and it's pretty quick, pretty easy, so I recommend everybody do it before they invest in more RAM. And so in Windows, hold Control, Shift, and press Escape to bring up your task manager and go here to this performance tab at the top. So you're going to get these two graphs, which is going to be your processor, which I currently have quad-core, and so you get one different graph for each of the different cores in your processor and it shows you a, a representation of the percentage that you're using of your total processing power and then you have your memory so this is your RAM which is represented in this chart so you only have one chart for RAM so give it, give it a little bit of time to build a baseline because as you can see in the processor it's a little bit uh, up and down and so you kind of want a, a, a good average before you really start your test. So currently, what I have open is just one browser. And this browser is Firefox. And I have three Flash games open in this browser, as well as a bunch of just different empty tabs. And so I'm actually trying to use a little bit more RAM than I normally do in my daily activities. Um, so if I close that, you'll you'll see from the, the baseline that Firefox was using this much RAM with those three games and uh, the additional 16 empty tabs that I had open. So now I'm down to 1.25 gigabytes. So even with three Flash games open and running and playing those games, uh, I really didn't have any kind of bottleneck in my RAM. What, you, what you're looking for is for this RAM, bar to go up to uh, somewhere between 80 and 90 percent of maximum usage. So I have eight gigabytes. It was using two. That's only 25 percent and we're nowhere near that threshold. What happens at the top end of that threshold is that your computer starts using your hard drive like it's RAM, which is significantly slower, especially if you don't have a solid state drive and you've got a, uh, an actual physical hard drive or a physical read-write hard drive, you're not going to get the same kind of performance, and so your computer is going to compensate for you, and it's going to accomplish the task, but it's going to be significantly slower, and that is when you want a RAM upgrade. If this bar in your task manager is occupied at about 80 to 90 percent, you're looking at a pretty valuable investment in a RAM upgrade. However, if this is not that high, even if it's at 50, 60 percent, if it's not high enough to start moving memory into your hard drive, then you're really not going to benefit a lot from a RAM upgrade. So keep that in mind, and, and you can also continue to look at your CPU usage. Uh, unfortunately, chips are much more difficult to, uh, to upgrade because of compatibility and really accessing them physically is is a little bit more taxing so um, at that point you're looking at more of a new computer so if your CPU usage is constantly uh, at you know 80 to 90 percent uh, or even in some cases 100 percent um, your computer is not is not really cutting it for you so remember your memory in this screen should be at 80 percent or below and your CPU usage really can go to 100%, but if it's staying there, you've got a little bit of a performance issue on your hands. If both of these bars are low and you're still receiving performance issues, take a look more at malware uh, and, and maybe uh, take a look at your software if something is wrong. Uh, occasionally you'll find software with loops written in that are continuous and they don't actually end themselves. So uh, 
try and keep a lookout for how your computer is reacting to your software and what's happening. So if I am running Google Earth and that's what's so slow, then take a look at what is happening to your CPU usage and your memory while you run that program. So I can keep this task manager open, reopen Firefox, and I can do whatever I want to do and keep an eye on what's happening here. So I can go here to Google Maps and what what's going to happen here is the RAM the RAM usage is going up as it continues to be used but it's really not going to be any kind of a problem because again I am not sitting at that 80 to 90 percent threshold and if you're at 100 percent you're absolutely in a little bit of a bind so hopefully this helped if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments or send me a message and I'll absolutely get back to you. Have a great day. Thank you.